What's up, Dirt Nerds? I'm George. It is Dirt 30. You read the title. You know what I'm about to do. Let's get digging into it. What's up, everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I know I am. It's been gorgeous out here. Sun's been shining. It's been hot, dry, and I just have not been able to manage to get anywhere further than from my local park. Things happen. So, me, when you're broke, you can't go very far. You can't do very much, <laughs> especially when everything you want to do is miles and miles and miles away. So, I ordered me a pay dirt. Uh, I've done a, re well, I won't say a review, but I've done a video featuring this company before. Uh, it's Panmore Gold. So, last time I did the, did the video, it was about a year ago, and I did their small, one of their small ones. It was like a $25 bag, and I don't think I even got a tenth of a gram off of that. A little disappointed, but I digress. This time, I did get a bigger bag. Uh, it was like $54.35 after their discount. Uh, plus shipping. So I remember the total bill was over 60 bucks, But the original cost was $54.35. Uh, it's four pounds of dirt. Hopefully it's supposed to guarantee to contain some gold. All we can do is dig in and find out. So here it is. This is the Panmore Gold. As you can see, they do go by a few different names. You can on my shipping label. There's actually a fourth name. I'm not going to go ahead and advertise that one. But here it is. This is the Panmore Gold. This isn't any nice sealed coffee bag. It's nice and dry. Pretty packed. Uh, and there's the four pounds, fifty-four dollars thirty-five cents. That's plus shipping. So, that's what that is. Looks like some pretty decent dirt. Looks like it's uh, at least qu least classified down to quarter inch. Um, I can see like right there, there's a little bit bigger of a rock. I have a screen that I'm gonna use that'll bring it down to eighth of an inch. And I mean, I know I'm not gonna find anything really big in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and tear this open. I'm gonna put my screen in the pan and do a quick, quick screen off and just see what I got. Usually it's not much. So hopefully it won't, it'll stay the same. So we'll see what happens. All right, so I got the bag tore open and yeah, there is, there is a lot of dust. I can see some organics in there, like little bits of grass and other stuff. <laughs> so there's a couple of, couple of big rocks in there. Well, like I said, I do have my Goodwill spaghetti strainer or whatever. It's about an eighth of an inch hole. So that's what I use for my eighth of an inch strainer dump this whole bag on in there seeing as I've only got one hand I don't know where my tripod is it went MIA again so uh, I'm doing this one-handed with camera in hand I will rinse this and make sure I've got every single bit out of it but there it is I can see a nice piece of mica sitting right there you can see it right above my fingertip there's a big old flake of mica so that'll be fun Mica always shines nice and pretty, but unlike gold, it changes color in the light. It's another way to, uh, whew, that was a lot of dust. It smells a little sulfury too, kind of weird. Uh, being able to deter whether it's pyrite, fool's gold, or real gold, uh, real gold stays the same color in any light. Uh, fool's gold if you move it around it will actually go dark it'll go bright it'll change colors so that's just a little quick little hint for you there on is it fool's gold is it pyrite or is it real gold yeah, there was actually quite a bit of little rocks in there so I will pan that off by hand 
just in case there's any micro gold or fly poos that have stuck to any of these rocks. Uh, but the rest of this will get fed directly into the pan. And there, yeah, I can see lots and lots of mica and all kinds of fake sparklies. So I do have the homemade mini sluice set up over here. It's already set up, ready to roll. It's the old, the old poop tube gutter sluice. Some rain gutter with some corrugated pipe laid that cut and laid down inside of it creates a perfect riffling system. You can see, look at the, the V pattern in the water. That focuses everything into the center, and the riffles are deep enough to where I have I have been able to capture nuggets. I mean, not just pickers, but nuggets, and all the way down to uh, fly poo. So this thing has actually been very very good for me uh, especially running the double setup like this so this is probably a total of about six feet the way I have it set up because there's a couple inches at the top that doesn't receive water there's a few inches here that are bypassed and, and whatnot so just shy six feet and I since I've been running like this I have not found any color left down there <laughs> And yes, yeah, so I do got a little bit of, went a little heavy with the surfactant, so it's kind of bubbly at the bottom. Not a big deal because it's perfectly clear, clean in the tube. So as I said, the, or my tripod is MIA, so I don't know, I, I, I can't really set up and uh, let you watch everything. I'm going to try to bring you in and let you see some of the feed uh, while I'm scooping some of the dirt in, whatever. But other than that, I'll bring you back at the end and show you how much gold was in this bag. I got high hopes, but low expectations. So, for those of you who don't know, when you hear about prospectors and miners and whatnot, people who dig in the dirt, talking about organics. Organics are all of this. All these bits of bark, grass, floating debris that is obviously not gold but it, it will clog up a sluice it will clog up a water system it makes the water muddy which makes it difficult to see anything that's happening um, it's best to stratify you know obviously stratify I don't care if it's if it's full of organics or not stratify stratify shake it get everything settled because fly poo small gold can still be floating up in here so you don't want to just fill it with water, see this stuff floating and then dump it away, no. Make sure you still stratify and get all this stuff broken up and sunk into your pan. Because it could still contain very fine gold that's just floating away with all of this organic debris. Alright, so down to the last few scoops here and I can actually see gold in the pan right there in front of my fingertip that is actually a nice big flake uh, there's another one that's kind of buried down over in here can't quite see it but there's like there's a speck there there's a speck up there there's a few specks all up all over I've actually seen quite a few bits stuck up in here so and a couple of nice flakes I won't say pickers at least not yet but definitely some nice flakes, some nice big flakes, some small flakes. Um, not seeing much of it travel past the first few ripples. Um, lots of lots of blonde still in the machine. Like I said, I've just been feeding it like a monster. Uh, again, since I've been running this double double poop shoot setup, uh, I've never seen any gold at the bottom of that pan. I do have a catch pan down in there. You can kind of see there's a little green tint to the to the cloud there, but. There is a catch pan. I always double, triple, sometimes even quadruple pan and sluice and refine all my material to make sure I've got every last speck that I can possibly see with my naked eye. And there we go. And you can even see the water is coming out of the coming out of the pump is actually really kind of brown, but you can still see everything clear enough through the through the chute. So 
it's not that bad it, it was pretty muddy it took probably about four rinsing four you know stratify and rinse stratify rinse to get it down to where it was that nice chocolate chocolate milk kind of color <laughs> it still ain't clear but that just tells you there is there's a lot of clay there's a lot of organics there's a lot of heavy minerals in there that just cloudy up that water really bad so I'm really glad that I have this extra large tub you can even kind of see you can see how dirty that water is this was fresh clean brand new water when I started and that's that's a pretty good sized tub and it mucked up all that water you see there's a catch screen to stop anything from going into my pump but man just dirty dirty water dirty dirty dirt but it smells like sulfur it's like it smells like matches so I don't know if that's the sulfides <laughs> but yeah it's it's a very heavy sulfur smell to the soil so I'm gonna get back to it I'll bring you back here in just a moment and show you what's right. in the tube pan is empty got it all into here you see right there you see that right up there in them two corners yeah that's right those are all flakes right there and right there yeah they're not very big you can see how big my finger is next to them but that's there's like one two three four five six flakes right there three flakes right there plus that big monker flake hanging out still up right there there's a few more in there that I know I've seen that buried themselves so I'm gonna let this run for just a few minutes let some of these blondes rinse all the way down. Let as much of this light material wash away as possible, leaving me nothing but the heavies and the gold. Bring it back in just a moment. There you go. Check this out. I just shut the water off. I, I, I cut away literally like two seconds ago. Shut the water off. Let it, let it drain. And look at this. That's all gold. There ain't nothing there in that little pile but gold. I'm going to take my snuffer bottle and just take that whole pile. Uh, right there, that whole side, that's all gold. Uh, that is a very nice big piece, possibly even a picker right there. That looks nice and chunky right in front of my fingertip. There's a couple more, there a few more pieces actually right there just above my fingertip. That whole side is just packed full right above my fingertip same with that one right there and there is a big flake right there below my fingertip uh, right as it settled that little rock right there rolled over it but there's a big old flake there and then I see a few more good pieces there and then nothing but black sand so like all my gold is uh, from about here to the drop there's the drop right there and that's that's not very far that's five inches maybe six yeah I know men we say six inches is actually three but I'll, I'll call it five inches <laughs> all right so quick tip for you if you're gonna use one of these homemade poops tube sluices uh, sorry about the background noise if y'all can hear it I got a neighbor cutting some trees down. Uh, when you're going ahead and rinse these out, because these ripples are cut the way they are, you always want to make sure that your heaviest end is in your pan first. I found this out the hard way because I lost a piece of gold. Actually, I found it, but I did see it fall out the tray, so there's a possibility I've lost other gold in here doing this thing uh, in the process of learning how to do it and use this thing. So whatever end your gold is going to fall in first like you know I had this is the bottom half this is this is the part that I hope not to find anything in uh, but you put your heaviest end in first where all your gold's going to hopefully fall and set put that into your pan at the back end to make sure that you have all this area to catch it if not make sure you have some kind of a tray or something around it to make sure that anything that splatters off or out is captured in case it is actually gold. So, little lesson, little tip I learned the hard way almost. Uh, thankfully, I found the piece of gold. I saw it fly out. It was a good piece. So, uh, that was on a couple videos ago. I didn't show it because 
but lesson learned put your heaviest end down first before you rinse this thing out um, same with a sluice box you know if you can possibly put your gold end down first and then just rinse back that way all this material is going to capture that gold and push it down into your box or into your capture tub or whatever you're rinsing into uh, most folks like myself we use a five gallon bucket well, there's a potential. If you got a big nugget, that thing can just fly right out and you'll never even know. Lesson learned, heavy end down first if you can. Flare ended sluices, it's difficult to do that, but that makes it, so, anything with your home cleanup, heavy end first. <laughs> All right, so my heavy end is in first. This is the bottom tray. So like I always do, we're going to start easily rinse, let it capture anything from there, and we slowly raise up until you see everything falling out. Position my hose a little better here. Nice, easy wash. Make sure you're bringing everything into the center, just like always. It's everything straight on out. Little vibration. Helps knock any little small particles loose. And there you go. That trough's empty, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pan this out. See if there's anything in it. This one, I pray that there isn't anything in. Try to make it quick. I don't even know if y'all can see me over here. I hope you can. Everything's centered in. Give it a little bump, a little vibration, anything kind of helps make it settle. There's the black. Looks like there might even be some uh, silver in with this too. Wasn't really expected, but. All right, so as I, as I usually do, I do a back and forth rock. Um, I don't like to do the swish either direction. Um, Clash, I actually like the way he does it. He does a swish one way, then an immediate swish the other, so that kind of still keeps everything concentrated and focused and bringing it to the center. But I found that an even, if you get everything focused, centered there, just like that, and just start rocking it straight back, you wash both sides, you bring the water in, it forces everything to a middle and brings it straight down the middle. Instead of washing it side to side, burying it over and over again, this gives me a quick, easy reveal to see what I found. And I can still watch this whole field to see if there's any glint of actual color, real gold, that's what we're after. I just settle all this crap out. So after about halfway through some of that, resettle. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna hurt your material. Your gold's gonna settle even further and focus even deeper in the middle. And then continue your wash. Yeah, that looks like a lot of silver right there. Possible silver ore. Pyrite. 
it looks like silver, but it, it, I'm pretty sure that's pyrite. But I do not see even one speck of yellow. That's it. Now I'm going to put this back in there. I'm going to dump it straight over into the catch pan. And I'll process it all again afterward. I'll try to catch some of that other material. Uh, I can already tell it's pyrite just from the cubicle shapes, the way it fractures. Um, yeah, no. That's, that's pyrite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna capture this next one. I'll bring you back to show you what was there. All right, so there we have it. I've got it all washed down as, as best I can for out here. I will use a magnet in the very end just to take the last little bits of black sand out of there. But you can see those two big flakes down there. There's, there's that one that we were looking at. And it's, it is, it's just a big flat flake. And this one here is that it is, you can see, it's shaped like a V for victory. That's a pretty decent little amount of gold there. I would say a lot better than the uh, first bag I did from there, but we'll get it all uh, finalized, get it cleaned up, get it dried, and we'll, uh, we'll see how much it weighs. Be right back. What's up, everybody? All right. Gold is all dried, ready to weigh. I've got everything all set up here. And first off, I'm gonna say right now, uh, I can already tell this is a lot better of a result than the $25 bag I did a year ago. So, kudos so far. Uh, my guess is at least about a half a gram. It looks like about a good half a gram. And for for the cost minus the shipping, for $54 uh, for a random bag of pay dirt, no guaranteed amount of gold. It just says that you will find gold. Um, you know, they, 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 there is a claim, you know, they're whatever they're this, you know, they're, they're tenth of a gram per pound or whatever it was. I don't ever really take that into consideration because that's just an estimate. So to actually get through that bag of dirt and, and, that it and find a decent pile of gold like that so far pretty happy small bag meh. you take your chances with something that cheap anyway so uh, when you're spending more money you expect to get a little better return and let's see what we got let's flip you around all right so yeah I don't know if y'all can hear it. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll check it in the in the audio or when I when I uh, go to finish. But that guy has been back there sawing on whatever he's sawing on for hours. <laughs> so okay, let's go ahead and turn the handy scale on. I've got my little cup there to catch the gold. And there is the pile. Here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Over three quarters at 0 0.782 grams of gold. Yep, I saw that right. Wow. Yeah, there was a couple of good, like I said, there's those two big chunky bits. And a lot of nice other smaller chunky bits. Like it was, that was a decent amount and that's. That's not bad for the price. Not bad at all. So, can't beat that. I mean, heck. That was three quarter, over three quarters of a gram of gold uh, that I had that I got for $54. That's really not bad. When you, when you get a pay dirt, uh, generally I expect at least, or not expect, I hope for, <laughs> hope for at least a 50% return on the investment and most pay dirt companies understand that's what a customer is looking for um, and then there's a lot of pay dirts out there like some of the really cheap bags 
yeah, you're probably not going to get that 50% return. Uh, when you start talking about like your $20, $25 bags, uh, yeah, you're probably not going to get half your money back. You, you may be lucky if you get a quarter of your money back for something that small because shipping, packaging, processing, you know, the people know how to how to tack on the on the extra fees to take the that little bit of gold and make it even smaller. But anyway, pan more gold on this bag did me pretty well. I, I'm impressed, I'm very happy. That was a very decent amount of gold. Um, I'm not posting any links because this is not a review. This is just the dirt nerd playing in dirt, showing you, sorry, technical error. Uh, phone just did an update thing. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just playing in the dirt, showing you the possibilities of what could be in a bag of dirt. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. I've showed you plenty of videos where it's not. I've showed you a lot of good videos where it's been a really good return. Uh, a lot of it is based on the price of gold. Uh, the other is based on how good and how reputable and how honest the pay dirt seller is. Uh, there's a lot of good ones out there. Uh, a couple in particular that I'm going to just go ahead and throw out real quick that I know for sure. Tom's Gold Dirt. Tom's Gold Dirt never fail that's that's at least always a decent return at least like i said 50 percent or better from everything i've gotten from him uh the other is gold bay gold bay has been spectacular great company um one more uh lynch mining i have always been satisfied with the gold that i've gotten for the price from lynch mining uh, it's it, but it's but it's all chance. It's all <laughs> it's, it's prospecting, man. That's what it is. You go dig in the dirt. You can I can go spend a whole day. I have spent a whole day, days, digging out there, and not come home with that much gold. That's what prospecting is. If it was called, if it was, you know, if you just walked out and pick it up, they'd be calling it finding, not prospecting. If you know where it's at, you're just going to pick, you know, it's going to go picking, going to go gold picking. It wouldn't be worth nothing. <laughs> so, with that said, another good video. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun. Uh, got to dig in some dirt. Got to smell some, got to smell some earth. It was spectacular so i hope you're all doing well i hope you have a wonderful evening wonderful afternoon or a wonderful morning wherever you are it is dirt 30 go dig in that dirt go hunt for some treasures go look for some gold whatever whatever it is that you got to do Whatever it is that you want to do, it's all out there waiting for you. You got to get up, get out, go do it. Love you all. See you soon.